Good afternoon from Tirana, Albania. It is a bit of a late start this afternoon. Far too many rackies and wine yesterday at the Turtle Farm, Albania. If you haven't already seen that video, link is in the description, go and check it out. But today, we are heading out of Tirana to the town of Kruja. We're actually meeting our friend from Enjoy Travels who is gonna take us and show us around all the sites. There should be some food, there should be some bazaars, and there should be some medieval castles. We've just got to find him out. The traffic in Tirana today is crazy for a Sunday. And a 35 minute drive and we've made it to Kruja. We've just come first to the Hotel Panorama just to check out these amazing views and we will be coming back here later for dinner but there is someone I want you to meet. I want you to meet our amazing tour guide Jensen. <laughs> You're gonna tell me the best facts of Kruja am I right? Yes of course. Of so course. what is the most important thing that we should know about Kruja first? Kruja so, Kruja? Kruja yeah we pronounce it Kruja in fact it's K-R-U-J-A. Uh, a, so you, the J is silent? Yeah is the J is silent so the most important thing is that it's the the birthplace and the uh, the place where it parked the the castle of our national hero, which is called Skanderbeg. There is so much for us to know here. Gen Z is going to take us to the best places, but right now I just need to take in this view. First stop we are going to make in Kruja is the old bazaar. This actually dates back to the 14th century and the time of Skanderberg. People would be staying up in the castle for protection and would come down here to get their goods, being that a bazaar is a market. Now it is mainly traditional souvenirs, which we need to check out. Actually, we, we haven't bought any souvenirs yet. <laughs> I haven't bought Molly a souvenir yet. We need our magnet. We haven't even got our Albanian magnet, so this is the place to get it. These shops are so, so traditional. So here we have a original coffee maker. So you'd put the sort of like the cooked or burnt coffee in here, you put the little lid on, and then inside it comes with a, a screw. That's a screw, like a- Yeah, 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 a twist, twist, twisty, twisty. And then you literally just do this. I'm gonna make the best coffee here, right? <laughs> I'm not so sure about that. And they actually sell a lot of old traditional tools that are used to make a variation of different things. Put it here and you can boil and nice. the and drink, drink straight out? Or <laughs> yeah, that's right. And then straight After to the cup. Here, the last place where you drink it coffee it's is to the, the, cup. The, most, uh, the most important part or the most joyful time of uh, Albanian's life, you know. Is drinking coffee. <laughs> drink, drinking the coffee. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thank you very much. Thank you. See, Thank you. everyone along here is so nice. Oh, well, in two minutes, in two so minutes. We'll, we'll come back. <laughs> See, everyone is so nice. They don't, they're, not, they're not trying to make you buy anything, they just want to show you their shop they want to teach you about it and everything they're selling. I really like that. It's really refreshing rather than people trying to pull you in the shop to sell something. They actually want to show what they're selling. I've now got to go back to a shop he's calling me and it's actually a shop that specializes in the traditional Albanian hat of Chileshe. They actually have two types of hat. There's the flat hat for people that live in the field villages and there is the high hat for the people that live in the mountain villages. This being a mountain village, I need to try a high hat. Right, let's do this. Here we go. <laughs> oh, I think my head's a little bit big, but this would be, oh look at that, suits me. Be a high hat for in the mountain. You need to try a flat one on Molly. Okay. I'll and we're actually being shown one. now, we're actually being shown um, how it's made Just from one. the wool of the sheep that are actually from the mountains here. I like it, it's growing on me. And how do I look? You look good, but you're not from the mountains and that. You are from the- The field villages. You are, you're from a field village. Does it blend into my hair? It sort of, it matches your t-shirt. <laughs> It matches the t-shirt, you look, you're looking good. It, does it keep yeah. your head warm then, right? Yeah, also keep your head warm. I so like it, I wouldn't need to get my roots like done. real Albanian now. <laughs> 
That was so cool. He just showed us how to make those hats. I can never remember the name, Carlicia. Am I right? Close enough. Close enough. Basically, they use sheep's wool and they wet it with soap. They use soap to make it stick and they rub it for such a long time and eventually the mold takes shape and they make the shoes, the hats. It's just so traditional. It takes about like four, five ge generations, right? Five generations. Yeah. He's now teaching his own son, which is pretty cool. Do you know what I've spotted? What? Do you know what it's time for? The untraditional <laughs> magnet. <laughs> the untraditional magnet. That is perfect for you. I love that. It's we haven't sparkly. got one yet. I can't believe we haven't got one. We get one every country. And we always leave it too late, but we finally found the perfect one. Well, that's one. your one. I yeah, I know. You've got to find one now. Thank you so much. Two magnets purchased. They were 200 like each. I really like mine because it's so sparkly, but we better head up to the castle because it's getting late. You know I'm what's terrible? Lose the light. What? All these traditional souvenirs. And we get a magnet. <laughs> and we get a magnet. We so failed. So boring. Just a really quick walk through the bazaar and we have made it to Kuya Castle. There's actually two parts to the castle. Behind me is the new renovated castle. It's brand new. It's all in memory of Skanderberg. It's got the museum inside which you have to pay to enter. And just over here is the original part of the castle. Not really um, intact at all and everything is built around it but it's so nice to see the two different sides. I'm breathing heavily. There's not even many stairs. We've, um, we've walked a bit further up to the old castle, which is the lookout tower. This is where Skanderbird would look out to see if any Ottomans were coming. Back in the 14th century, it was the perfect vantage point for him to plan or plan against any attacks that were coming here. But the views up here are so nice. The address it sees out in front of us. I wouldn't know any of this. I'm, when I have to look on my phone for facts, they're never great. They should be correct. So down in the comments, no moaning if they're incorrect. But this is an incredible, yeah, incredible lookout tower, and you can actually see up here, through the middle of it, last year there was a 7.5 magnitude earthquake. You can see it's just shattered through the middle. So hopefully I'm all right going up there. How about this for a sunset spot? It's so nice. You can see the planes coming into land. You can see the Adriatic Sea. That's what I just said, it's to our north. Oh, did you? Tirana is to our west. Never, where's north Never, north, never, never eat, eat trade wheat. wheat to the west, yeah. And I just love all the mountains. There's loads of little mini lakes in between, one of which is um, man-made, but I can't remember which one that is. Yeah, it's that's one of them. Mm -hmm. <laughs> but I have to say, we are being so lucky with these sunsets. I know, so how? We've lucky. timed we get, it perfectly. We're gonna get it even better when we go for food. Like, this is perfect. We've timed it so well. Think of the sunset. Good sunset. Good sunset. No. Camera shy. We are back down at the hotel Panorama for food. Because of all that walking, I feel like I deserve my old favourite court chart. Um, we're gonna have this to start. I'm gonna call the beer a starter, <laughs> and then we're gonna have like a. Um, Sort of like a sharing platter of everything, all their best dishes that they do here, so we can try a little bit of everything. Gazor. 
they have brought us out so much to try. When they said little bits, I didn't realise there was going to be this much. It's big bits. But let's go. We have bruschetta with a spicy cottage cheese, a tomato with peppers. We have a pumpkin barrack. We have spinach barrack. We have an olive salad. We have a normal salad. We have beef with cheese, like a beef stew type thing. We have lamb with like yogurt. Right? And then we have white cheese and salad. And then lastly we have a dessert which is actually rice made with the neck of a lamb. Unique um, for a dessert, right? It's very different. At first I was like, That's, is that going to be sweet? It obviously isn't, but we need to try it all and I don't know where to start. Shock, you're going straight in for the barrette. Yeah, I'm going in for the pumpkin bread just because we've have we had it once before, we have I think. Mm -hmm. Start with what you know. And it is, it is Halloween this month. Mm. I love barrack. It honestly is one of my favourite things. That's really, really nice. Not as sweet as the one we had before, but it is very nice. We call this right. uh, Dove Veil. Dove. Dove Veil. Dove Veil. <laughs> this is which is the meaning if you translate is like the plate yeah. on the ground. The plate, so, this is the plate on the ground. Yeah. It's the plate on the table today. <laughs> so it's like a beef stew. Just get a bit and it's uh, very tasty, especially in the winter time because it keeps you warm. Oh, it's really good. It's really rich. You can feel that. Like in the yeah. Windsor, you can feel it straight away in your chest. I really like that. Moving on, I've now got the barrette with milk. And I feel like as it's milky, it will go best with the white cheese. So I'm going to mix a little bit of the white cheese with that. Oh, look at that. That's good. Mmm. Have you had any salad yet though? I'm a salad dodger. <laughs> mm. With milk, it's more of like a plain barrack, it tastes like. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So you add that and then you get... It's a little bit sour, the white cheese. It Is goes it? Really, it? It goes really well with the barrack. I'm next to try, and my thing is the Mish Shinji, which is lamb with like a yogurt. What else is with the yogurt? Like uh, yogurt and uh, some other like spices. So spice. yogurt and spices. It looks a bit. Eggs it looks very well. not spicy, but like not herbs. Spicy, that have just the yogurt, eggs, and uh, mice. Fine. Okay, so it's crispy on the outside and I'll tell you a fun fact, I have never tried lamb before in my life. So this is my very first Slacking. try Here we go. of lamb. Mm. It doesn't taste how I thought. The yogurt is really, really nice, it's really creamy. But the meat tastes like beef, but really, really salty. I'd say that where it comes out um, around it, it actually looks a little bit like a cottage pie. I've nearly eaten too much. I need a little bit of uh, a bit of corcha, make a bit of room for dessert, and that is caboni, which I'm not going to explain too much because this is this is the food that I see. I looked at it and it was the most I don't know. I suppose different to what I've eaten or something I'd ever eat as a dessert. So, so this is a kind of dessert which is tradition traditional in Albania. Uh, it's made by rice and uh, neck of the lamb. So. Uh, it sounds strange, but it's true, and we uh, have this dessert also in our traditional, let's say, for families that are Muslim religion, yeah. and they do this uh, dessert during the celebration of Bayram. Um, I've got to try this now. It looks... It's got fruit in it as well, it's, which is it, a crazy Yeah, it doesn't smell like meat. It, it smells really fruity. I wonder if it'll be crunchy. Dry grapes also. Yeah, dry yeah. grapes. Yeah. It's a cinnamon taste. Yeah, because it's a mm. dessert, isn't it, right? How is that? That is crazy. I can't even tell that there's lamb inside. Is it like really small pieces of lamb? Oh, it's very small pieces and the, the other flavor that uh, mixed mm. with, with the, the dessert, it covers a bit the, the, the taste of lamb. Yeah, so no, definitely. Like, you can hardly taste it. That is actually a really good dessert. Beer to wash it down. I have eaten so much food. My stuff. I'm not getting my stomach out. My stomach is huge. I am so bloated. Um, but we have to say thank you to Jensi for that. We didn't actually think we were going to go to Cruja. It wasn't somewhere on our list. And he told us the other day when we met him, we need to go. And it was so worth it. The castle, the views, the food, the bazaar, the magnets. Bought the magnets. Yeah, really like it. But you're going to see a lot more of us. And Jensi, in the next few days, he's going to be showing us around the north of Albania, which we head to tomorrow. We're very, very excited for the north. Um, got to sort out a couple of things from there because we're hoping to head to Kosovo, 
but restrictions because the UK has loads of crazy cases at the moment we might not be able to go but I think we'll be able to find ways around it keep following us on that journey I need to get to bed I've eaten too much see you tomorrow